Hello students, today we are going to see graph of quadratic equations. Before going to that point, first we discuss about nature of roots. Okay, so already we discuss about nature of roots. If d greater than zero, then roots are real and unequal. If d equal to zero, then roots are real and equal. And if d less than zero. Then roots are imaginary or not real. So, if roots are not real, means if d greater less than zero, then in that case, roots are not real, or we can say that imaginary roots. Okay. So, if roots are not real, then how we find that roots? So. We will discuss about this. So here, d less than zero means that is a negative. So negative square root of negative number. So how we find the square root of negative number? So we cannot find in real number of or real set. We cannot find square root of negative number. So for that, we have to define. That is an i. So this i is called as an iota. Okay. So when we use this, if suppose root of minus four is there, then this root how we find? So root of minus four that is a this minus four we can write minus four sorry four into minus one. Okay. Four into minus one. Okay. We can separate this. So square root of four into Square root of minus one, and for this root of minus one, we have to substitute this i. So root of four that is a two, and root of minus one is i. Okay. So here value of root of minus one that is a i. So this is called iota. Okay. And if number is in the form a plus i into b. Then that number is called as a complex number. Okay, this is complex number. Okay, and this a part is called as a real part. This b is called as a imaginary part. So with i, whatever number is there, that is a imaginary part. And without i, if number is there, that part is called as a real part. Okay. So root of minus one is i. So i square. If we take i square, then i square is equal to minus one. Okay. If you have to find value of i cube, then i cube we can write i square into i. So i square value is minus one and into i. Means minus i and i raised to four. If you have to find value of i raised to four, i raised to four is i square bracket square. So i square value is minus one bracket square. That is a one. Okay. So root of minus one is i. I square is minus one. I cube is minus i. I raised to four is one. Okay. So this is basic information to find. When roots are not real, okay. Now we will take example to find roots which are not real, okay. So we will get roots in complex number, okay. So now we will take example. Now we will take example. That is solve for x x square plus two x plus four is equal to zero, okay. So if we first find d, that is d is equal to b square minus 4 is so b is 2 so 2 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 so 2 square is 4 4 minus 16 that is a minus 12 okay now here d is minus 12 that is d less than 0 so roots are not real okay now we have to find this complex roots okay so x is equal to Minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four ac 
upon 2a so minus value of b is 2 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac that value is minus 12 divided by 2 into a so value of a is 1 so minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 12 so this we can write 12 into minus 1 divided by 2 so minus 2 plus minus so this we can write root 12 into root of minus 1 so if we solve this minus 2 plus minus root of minus 1 that is i so root 12 into i divided by 2 so value of x that is x is equal to minus 2 plus minus root 12 that is a 2 root 3 okay this 12 we can write 4 3 is a and square root of 4 is 2 so 2 root 3 into i divided by 2 so if we take 2 common what is it mean minus 1 plus minus root 3 i okay upon 2 that will be cancelled with this uh, we, we had to uh, two common so that will cancel with this 2 so x is equal to minus 1 plus minus root 3 i so x is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i or x is equal to minus 1 minus root 3 i so this is the complex roots of this quadratic equation ok so we have to find in this way a complex root of quadratic equation when d is less than 0 ok now we will take more examples which is easy to understand ok now we will take second example second example is solve for x x square plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0 ok so first we have to find d so d is equal to d square minus 4ac value of d is 4 so 4 square minus 4 into value of a is 1 value of c is 5 so 4 square is a 16 minus 20 that is equal to minus 4 ok so here d is minus 4 so roots are not real or imaginary roots so now we have to find roots of this quadratic equation so x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a ok so minus 4 plus minus square root of value of b square minus 4ac is minus 4 so we have to put here minus 4 divided by 2 into a a is 1 so minus 4 plus minus again minus 4 we can write 4 into minus 1 divided by 2 so minus 4 plus minus root 4 into root of minus 1 divided by 2 ok now further if we simplify this we will get x is equal to minus 4 plus minus root 4 that is a 2 and root of minus 1 we know that now that is a i upon 2 so if we take 2 common from numerator and that 2 cancel with this 2 so we will get minus 2 plus minus i so x is equal to minus 2 plus minus i so x is equal to minus 2 plus i or x is equal to minus 2 minus i ok so if we see this in this quadratic equation if these coefficients are means a b c a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 that is a general quadratic equation so if that a b c are real numbers so here these are real numbers here coefficient of x square is 1 this is 4 this is 5 ok so if these are real coefficients or real numbers then we will get roots are conjugate complex conjugates ok means if one number is a plus ib then another number is a minus ib ok 
so these are called as a complex conjugate okay we have to change the sign of this part ib imaginary part okay so here minus 2 plus i and minus 2 minus i these are complex conjugate of each other so if coefficients are real then we will get roots are complex conjugate means if d less than 0 and coefficients are real then we will get complex conjugate okay but if these coefficients are imaginary then suppose here 4 i is there okay so in that case we will get these are not complex conjugates okay so we will take one example of that kind okay okay next example is solve for x 3x square minus pi i x plus 7 is equal to 0 now here we can see that these coefficients are not real means here 3 is real 7 is real but this is minus pi i okay so if coefficients are imaginary then we will see what is about roots of this body equation okay so first we have to find d so d is equal to b square minus 4ac value of b is minus 5i bracket square minus 4 into value of a is 3 value of c is 7 okay so minus 5i square that is a minus 5 square okay we can write like this way minus 5 square into i square 4 3 is a 12 12 7 is a 84 so minus 84 now minus 5 square that is a 25 i square is a we know that i square is a minus 1 because i is a root of minus 1 here i is equal to root of minus 1 that is iota so i square is equal to minus 1 so 25 into minus 1 that is a minus 25 minus 84 so it is 5 plus 4 9 8 plus 2 10 so minus 109 okay now here d is less than 0 so roots are not real it is imaginary now x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so minus of minus 5i plus minus d square minus 4ac that is already we found here minus 109 so we have to put this value minus 109 divided by 2 into a a that is a 3 so this will 5i plus minus square root of root 109 that is minus root 109 so we can write 109 into minus 1 that is a then 2 3 is a 6 so 5i plus minus this is root 109 i divided by 6 okay now here i will be common so we can take i common so what is given 5 plus minus root 109 upon 6 into i okay so here we will get roots which are not complex conjugate so only we will get imaginary part okay so here these are not complex conjugate means here one root we will get that is x is equal to 5 plus root 109 upon 6 into i or second root we will get x is equal to 5 minus root 109 upon 6 into i okay so these are not complex conjugate okay these are not in the form of a plus ib and a minus ib okay so when coefficients are not real or they are imaginary then we if means if real roots not exist then in that case we will get roots which are not complex conjugate okay now we will discuss about graph of quadratic equation now we will see graph of quadratic equation okay we know that if we draw graph of straight line 
Oh, sorry, graph of linear equation. So if we consider linear equation, that is a two x plus three. Okay. Or two x plus three y is equal to five. Suppose this is a linear equation. Means suppose this is a equation, and you have to draw a graph of this equation. So then that graph is a straight line. Okay. So if suppose like this one, so graph of this linear equation we know that it is a straight line okay so when we draw graph of quadratic equation then that graph that is a parabola okay so if we consider y is equal to 4x square plus 5x plus 6 suppose Then graph of this quadratic equation that is a curve. Okay, this is also a curve. Okay, straight line also is a curve. Okay, so here this is a curve. Okay, and name of this curve is a parabola. Okay, so when we draw graph of quadratic equation, that graph is a parabola. Okay, and when we draw graph of any quadratic equation. We have to say y is equal to that product. Means we cannot say that 4x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to zero. Then graph of this equation, we cannot say like this way. If we have to draw graph of this quadratic equations, then we have to take y is equal to this quadratic equation. Okay, we have to change the value of x, so we will get different values of y. And if we plot that points, then we will get A curve which is known as a parabola. Okay, so we will get either this way or this way. Either it is a open upward or open downward. Okay, so this open upward and open downward that is depend on coefficient of x square. Okay, how we will see this. So when it is open upward, suppose it is like this way. So It is called as a parabola, open upward. Okay, so this is parabola open upward, or this part is a concave. So concave open upward, we can say that. And another in another word, convex open downward. This part is a convex part. So convex downward. Okay. So we can say any one of them that is a parabola open upward or concave open upward or convex open downward. Okay. So this is parabola open upward. So when it is open upward, if means if quadratic equation is suppose f of x is equal to A x square plus b x plus c. Okay, so when this a is greater than zero, this a that is the coefficient of x square is greater than zero means it is positive. So if it is positive, then graph of that quadratic equation is open upward means parabola open upward or concave open upward or we can say that convex open downward. So this part is convex, this is concave. So So concave open upward, convex open downward, or parabola. Simply we can say that parabola open upward. Okay. And if a less than zero, then that graph is like this way. That is a parabola open downward. Okay. Or we can say that concave open downward. And convex open upward. Okay, this part is a convex, so it is open upward. Concave part is a open downward. Okay, so if a less than zero, parabola open downward. If a greater than zero, parabola open upwards. Okay. Now we will see in this graph there are again three cases. So case first,
if that means suppose parabola this is open upward okay there are two cases means if first case is a greater than 0 and a less than 0 so if a greater than 0 okay and if parabola cut x axis at two different points so graph of that chord equation is like this way okay and this is up to infinity okay so this parabola is like this way if a greater than 0 and graph of this chord equation cuts x axis at two different points or distinct points then it is like this way and a less than 0 then it is like this way okay it cuts x axis at two different points and open downward okay this is first case means a greater than 0 but that parabola cuts x axis at two different points so these points are roots of the quadratic equation okay afterwards we will see that so in 10th standard we already learned that if parabola cuts x axis at two different points then there are two roots okay so here are two distinct roots here also this is only a greater than 0 a less than 0 okay in case second if parabola cuts x axis at exactly one point so again two cases are there a greater than 0 a less than 0 okay so it is open upward open down so it cuts x axis at exactly one point okay means in at this point roots are same okay so this is second case and third case is I am having this first one. Third case is if that parabola does not cut x axis. Okay. So if a greater than 0, it is like this way, and if a less than 0, it is like this. Okay. So if parabola does not cut x axis, then graph of that chord equation is like this way. So here are here we didn't get roots which are real. Okay. We can get complex roots, but we didn't get roots are real. Okay. So these are three cases. Now we will see vertex of parabola. Okay. And how to find that vertex. Now we will see vertex of parabola and line of symmetry. Okay. So if this is a parabola, then where it turns that point it's called as a vertex okay so here this parabola turns so this point is called as a vertex of parabola okay so this is called vertex okay now and line of symmetry means if we draw a vertical line which is a passing through vertex this is called as a line of symmetry okay so all the points which are present on both side of this parabola which is equidistant from this line of symmetry okay now we have to find the coordinates of the vertex of parabola okay suppose this parabola is like this it is like this suppose okay so vertex of this parabola is here and these are the points where this parabola cuts x axis okay means here value of y is 0 okay so value of y is 0 here also value of y is 0 okay means these points are suppose these points are a and b so these points are roots of given quadratic equations okay now we know that what are the roots of quadratic equations if we use quadratic formula so we can write roots are minus b plus root d upon 2a and this root is minus b 
माइनस रूट डी अपॉन टू है ओके सो वन रूट इज माइनस बी प्लस रूट डी डी मीन्स डिस्क्रिमिनेट अपॉन टू है एंड अनदर रूट इज माइनस बी माइनस रूट डी अपॉन टू है ओके नाउ इफ वी सपोज दैट कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पॉइंट ए दैट इज माइनस बी प्लस रूट डी अपॉन टू है कॉमन जीरो बिकॉज दिस लाइन ऑन एक्स एक्सिस सो वाई कॉर्डिनेट इज जीरो एंड कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पॉइंट बी इज माइनस बी माइनस रूट डी अपॉन टू ए कॉमन जीरो ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वर्ड एक्स ऑफ दिस पैराफ्रा सपोज दिस वर्ड एक्स इज दी सो इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वर्ड एक्स सो फॉर दैट I'm drawing this line of symmetry. Okay. Now, if we find this point, okay, how we get this point coordinates of this point? Now we know that all points lie on line of symmetry, which is equidistant from these points, means A and B. So this point, suppose this point is P. So P point is a midpoint of A and B. So we know that. In coordinate geometry, we learn that how to find midpoint. So how we get coordinate of point P? Now it lies on x-axis, so x comma zero. So how we will get coordinate of x coordinate of point P? That is a x one plus x two upon two. So minus b plus root d upon two a plus Minus d minus root d upon two a divided by two and y coordinate is zero. So if we add this plus root d minus root d will get cancelled. Minus b minus b that is a minus two b upon two a and upon this two. Okay, common zero. So this two will get cancelled. What is remain minus b upon two a comma zero. So coordinate of point p is This coordinate of point P is minus b upon two a comma zero. So if line is passing through this point and which is parallel to y axis, so equation of line of symmetry is x is equal to minus b by two a. Okay, understand this one? X coordinate of point P is minus b upon two a comma zero, and this line of symmetry passing through. Point P and which is parallel to y-axis. So equation of line is x is equal to minus b upon 2a. Means if this is passing through vertex of parabola, so coordinate x coordinate of this vertex that is minus b upon 2a. Now we will get. Now we got x coordinate. Now we have to find y coordinate. So if y is equal to x square plus b x plus c. That is a quadratic equation, okay? And if we put x value is minus b by two a here, and if we simplify this, then we will get value of y is minus b upon four a, okay? We can check this also. Here d means discriminant, so if we put minus b upon two a, a minus b upon two a bracket square plus b into minus b upon two a plus c. So a this is b square upon four a square. This is minus b square upon two a plus c. Okay. So here this a will get cancelled. What is remain b square upon four a minus b square upon two a plus c. So if we simplify this. B square minus two B square upon four A plus C. So again, what we have Y is equal to B square minus two B square that is minus B square upon four A plus C. If we simplify this, minus B square plus four A C upon four A. If we take minus and common, so minus in bracket B square minus four A C upon four A. That is a minus d upon four. Okay, so if we put x is equal to minus b by two, we will get y coordinate is 
माइनस डी अपॉन फोर ए ओके सो वर्टेक्स कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ वर्टेक्स ऑफ पैराबोला इज माइनस डी अपॉन टू ए कॉमा माइनस डी अपॉन फोर ए मीन्स एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज माइनस डी अपॉन टू ए एंड वाई कॉर्डिनेट इज माइनस डी अपॉन फोर ए ओके अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन नाउ वी विल सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल टू फाइंड वर्टेक्स ऑफ पैराबोला ओके फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फाइंड वर्टेक्स ऑफ पैराबोला वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स माइनस थ्री ओके नाउ वी नो दैट वर्टेक्स ऑफ पैराबोला हैविंग कॉर्डिनेट्स माइनस डी बाई टू ए कॉमा माइनस डी बाय फोर ए ओके वेर डी इज इक्वल टू डी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए सी ओके सो फर्स्ट यू टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ डी सो डी इज इक्वल टू डी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए सी दैट इज डी इज माइनस एट स्क्वेर माइनस फोर वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज टू वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज माइनस थ्री सो माइनस एट स्क्वेर इज सिक्सटी फोर देन फोर टू जर एट थ्री जर ट्वेंटी फोर सो सिक्सटी फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर फोर प्लस फोर एट सिक्स प्लस टू एट ओके सो वैल्यू ऑफ डी इज एटी एट देन वी हैव टू फाइंड वर्टेक्स सो वर्टेक्स दैट इज माइनस डी बाय टू ए माइनस डी बाय फोर ए दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस डी बाय टू ए सो माइनस वैल्यू ऑफ डी इज माइनस एट डिवाइडेड बाय टू ए वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज टू एंड वाई कॉर्डिनेट माइनस डी वैल्यू ऑफ डी इज एटी एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर ए वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज टू अगे सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर एंड दिस इज माइनस एटी एट डिवाइडेड बाय एट सो एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर इज टू एंड दिस इज माइनस इलेवन सो टू कॉमा माइनस इलेवन दिस इज द वर्ड टेक्स ऑफ दिस पैराबोल y is equal to two x square minus eight x minus three. Okay, so understand everyone how to find vertex of parabola. First, we have to find d. Okay, now keep in mind this vertex. Coordinates of vertex are minus d by two a comma minus d by four a. Okay, so here we will get coordinates of vertex are two comma minus eleven. Okay. Now we will see examples to draw graph of quadratic equation. Okay. Now we will take last point that is how to draw graph of any quadratic equations. Okay. So suppose this quadratic equation is given y is equal to minus x square plus three x minus two. So we have to draw graph of this quadratic equation. So this is x axis. This is y-axis. Okay, here I am drawing that is a rough sketch of graph of this quadratic equation. Okay, now y is equal to minus x square plus three x minus two. Okay, now here coefficient of x square that is a negative. So if coefficient of x square is negative, we know that that parabola is open downward. So it is like this. Way. Okay, so here. We can understand if minus coefficient of x square is negative. So first, we can decide this is open downward. Okay. Now, what is the vertex of parabola? So first, we have to find vertex of this parabola. So vertex of this parabola is minus b by two a. We know that coordinates are minus b by two a, comma minus b by four a. Okay. So minus b that is a minus Of three divided by two a. A is minus one, and minus b by four a. So minus in bracket b square minus four a c upon four a. So minus and this minus will get cancelled. Three by two remain. Three by two minus b square minus four a c is three square. That is a nine minus four. A C so A is minus one so four into minus one into minus two divided by four A 
so four into minus one. Okay. So three by two, comma this nine minus minus plus again minus so nine minus eight is one. This negative it cancels so one by four. So your vertex of parabola is three by two comma one by four. So both x coordinate and y coordinate is positive. Means means vertex lies in first quadrant. Okay. We know that if both are positive, x coordinate and y coordinate, then that vertex lies in a First quadrant, so parabola is like this way. Okay, so this is vertex. So if this is so vertex having coordinate is three by two comma one by four. Okay, now we have to find roots of coordinates. Oh, sorry, roots of this. Graph or roots of quadratic equation. So x is equal to minus b by sorry minus b plus minus root b upon two a. So minus b plus minus value of b is three. So plus minus root b. B is b square minus four ac. So here we get that that is a one divided by Two into minus one. Okay, so minus three plus minus one upon minus two. So if we take minus x is equal to minus three plus one minus three plus one that is a minus two minus two upon minus two that is one or x is equal to minus three minus one that is minus four upon minus two is two. So roots of this quadratic equation equation is one two means these points are one comma zero and Two comma zero. Okay, so here we get vertex three by two one by four. Roots are one and two. Means coordinates of these points are one zero and two zero. Okay. Now, if we draw line of symmetry, then equation of line of symmetry that is x is equal to minus b by and minus b by sorry minus b by two and minus b by two already we found that that is a three by two. So x is equal Equal to three by two is the equation of line of symmetry. Okay. Now this parabola cuts y-axis. Okay. So if parabola cuts y-axis at this point. Okay. So if parabola cuts y-axis means at this point x coordinate is zero. So if we put x coordinate is zero here. Okay. So here we will get this is zero. This is zero. So y is equal to minus two. Means These points having coordinates are zero comma minus two. Okay, so graph of this quadratic equation is like this way. Okay, it cuts x-axis at point one zero and two zero, and vertex of that parabola lies in first quadrant, which is three by two and one by four. Line of symmetry. Having equation x is equal to three by two, and this parabola cuts y-axis at point zero comma minus two. Okay, so from this quadratic equation, we can find vertex, equation of line of symmetry, roots, and by using all this information, we can draw graph of quadratic equation. Okay, understand this point? So this is basic concept of quadratic equation, which is uh, which is useful for class eleven. Okay.